Hi Aries, welcome to your retrograde specials and this is actually called the love triangle reading, okay? This is for the month of December. Now, during the retrograde period, there are a lot of blurry things that's been going on, especially with you know, especially with those people who's already partnered and their partners are somewhat acting a bit strange, cold and distant and they are always on the phone. They are, you know, they're treating you like the way they haven't really treated you before. So is there somebody else? Usually during this time, most of the people, yes, they do something right behind you, but it doesn't really last because those people who's actually cheating or doing something behind you are those who's actually weak. They don't have any self-confidence, self-control, and they're not really, you know, they're not really um, confident or they don't really love them. So if you're also going through those things, then you're not alone, okay? But you will also somehow feel that you don't feel any pain anymore. Like if that person keeps on doing things over and over again in a pattern behavior, or especially, you know, it's like, it's, it, it's synchronized that whatever they did last year, it it also occurs during this time. So you already know what's the bottom line of that. At least you know where it's going. So let's take a look, Aries. Mm -hmm. Now this is actually the other party. Now sometimes in a reading, it comes mixed. Sometimes you act as the other party or I define you as the other person. Now this is you. And this is the legal one, or the original. The entanglement, the issue, ooh, right at the bottom, the solution. Okay. You know, you're actually with somebody who's younger than you, but is kind of aware that what you're doing or what you have at this moment is not really acceptable to the society, okay? Now, this person is trying to fight or trying to wriggle off their freedom from you because they don't want to settle for this kind of relationship or they don't want to settle for this kind of situation. But you somehow can't let go of your marriage and this other person because both of them make you feel happy make you feel contented like what the other lacks fills up the other so it's like you want to combine both of them so that you can have one whole person but actually that's not the case that's why that this is actually what's been going on okay the love triangle thing now the other person which is the affected one or the original wants to make a brand new beginning that even though this person is aware, actually you're both with fire signs. One, uh, one fire sign with an earth element and then the other is air with fire or fire with air. Now, the other one is actually ready to make a brand new beginning, ready to work it out, ready to understand the situation, forgive you, and try to, you know, like, Let's put it all behind us, water under the bridge, and let's start all over again. And you're, also, you're still holding on to your marriage, okay? Because you've been together for like, what, 10 months, 10 years? And the reason why this temptation got in the way is because you keep on traveling for work or your partner keeps on traveling for work. There's like an absence that happened in a relationship. That during those absence and during your time of weakness, you met this person who actually gave you hope or gave you that um, crutch, okay? Now, this person means the world to you. And this person, the original one, you feel like this person balances you. So which one, if ever, which one will you be choosing? Because this person, you know, this person is ready to make a brand new beginning and ready to, you know, find their own faith. 
while this other person is like they don't want they, they're still trying to save up whatever that's all with this built they're still trying to you know clean up the mess because they know that they they also lack something or they you know like uh, they they also owe you some time as well now with this person there's always a constant worry since that this is younger than you this person is always ready to make a brand new beginning take off and it's like why would they settle for this kind of relationship you know I'm still young and I can find somebody else why would they settle for something less when I can have the best now with this other person uh, so the money is here and I feel like you've already like put up a lot of let's say investments or assets together you're good in handling money both but the passion affection and love because this person that you're originally with is very hard-working and very concentrated in the finances it seems like they've already forgotten how it is to pay attention to your personal needs let's say like sex now you somehow oh, both cups actually and both sides you're both stuck on this too you don't want to let go of this too but which one would actually remain and which one would go this one the younger one this one despite of all her efforts their efforts sorry they're still gonna well you're still gonna do the same things over and over again until that they will get tired you know because they've forgiven you once and of course you get you know you're, you're all they use their generosity and their forgiveness so you're gonna do it over and over again the thing is you will first lose this person because I feel like this person is highly educated got a good job and yes very strong-minded and independent well this person is very understanding financially stable oh let's say you know and also wealthy but very forgiving and understanding but when you know when you already pushed someone at their limits for how many times they're just gonna give up and they're just gonna stop working it out like you know what I just let you go I'll just let you be because this just keeps on going on and on and on and on and, and this is you know it's like it's time for me to love myself as well and it's time for me to um, gain my self-respect and those are the last words that you're gonna hear with your original one while you what's gonna happen to you you're gonna get a divorce uh, you're gonna have some drinking habits uh, even if you'll have another person in the side like a side dish it's not really gonna last because that will be your karma okay so your life will gonna swirl upside down and it's not really gonna go anywhere choose somebody that actually defined you in the first place and that's somebody who gives you what you want momentarily don't exchange your lifelong commitment to somebody that is not even ready to you know cross the puddle for you well you're ready to cross the seas for someone but that somebody is it's not even ready to cross or jump a puddle for you so make a wise choice Aries all right especially if you're actually in this kind of situation at this point all right so anyway that's it for you for this month of December and I will be releasing general and reading for singles all right blessings to you and if you want to have your own personalized readings go and visit me at my website at sophieangel.net and you may talk to me live on the phone or live video calls and you may offer pre-recorded video readings. Alright, blessings to you.